If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. All right, everybody. I'm feeling a little bit better, and we're gonna be talking about Raging Form. We got the Crest, we got Raging Wraps, a Ratted Skill, and we're gonna get into what Raging Form is looking like for Premium. So after this, we'll have all three of the new Crests and the new G units, so we'll kind of get a better understanding of what the new Premium Stride deck sets look like. So jumping right into it, we got Raging Wraps' new skill, which is Act Ability. If your Vanguard is a grade three with Raging Form Dragon with a Limit Break ability, and you do not have any imaginary gifts this fight, you can choose one or more cards from your hand to discard a grade three and stride this face down. Then you can return a Revenger card in your G zone face up to get two gift markers, uh, and then you get the Raging Form Crest. So Raging Wrap's Limit Break ability is at the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If you have a heart with Raging in its name, Counter Blast, Soul Blast, retire two Rear Guards, discard two grade three Abyss Dragons, then you put this back into the G zone face up. Choose a face down Raging Wrap from your G zone and stride it as stand with drive minus one. So that skill has stayed completely the same for the second skill. The addition of the imaginary gifts is similar to what we saw for Cecilia and for Evangeline. So not much is changing here, but let's just go ahead and take a look at the crest to get an idea of what's going on. So the crest is if you have a heart with Raging Form Dragon with the Limit Break ability, when you would pay the cost for Limit Break, for your True Revenger Raging Wrap, it can be paid with Retire 3 Rear Guards with Revenger in their card names. It doesn't mean that it's changing the card effect, it just means that you can substitute it for that cost instead if you choose to. So you can still choose which cost you want to pay, which is nice, but the resolving skill is still the same. Also, just like all the other crests, your Grade 3 Vanguards with Limit Break abilities get 13k base and your limit break abilities are active even if your damage zone is three or less. So this is really big for Raging Wrap because obviously now it's limit break is just active and you don't need to have a specific rear guard. With the limit break enabler, it's just ready to go. The other addition is the fact that you can choose to use Raging Wrap's limit break to retire two, discard two grade three abyss dragons, then you can also retire three rear guards with Revenger. So you can use Raging Wrap's skill twice because it's not once per turn. But the idea here is that obviously in the past you wouldn't have had four Abyss Dragons in your hand, but now there is a way where you can attack with your Vanguard three times during the battle phase. The second two swings are both with Twin Drive, but that's still really good when your opponent's still at grade two. And you got two Force Markers on your Vanguard as well. That's insanely huge. You could also split it up if you wanted to, put one on rear, swing with the rear, swing a van and then, you know, go with that if you choose to, but it seems like you're pretty much gonna be stacking those markers on your Vanguard to get this really big, beefy Vanguard. What's really interesting about this crest is unlike the other two, it doesn't give the Vanguard your crest's ability. It just changes the fact that you can pay the cost differently. It's kind of similar, but it's just making sure that you're not copying the ability because you don't want to ride Raging Form from your hand, you wanna find some consistency there. So I think this was a really well thought out way to resolve the skill, so I like it. We're already seeing some moves being made. I believe Willy Revenger Mana is being bought out on the market right now because it just calls you a free card. There's a lot of other combos you can do where you're basically able to refill your board after rear guards are retired so that you can keep going with the Raging Wrapped card effects to just kinda of keep striding over and over again. So. There's a lot of things that people are trying to figure out and combos you can do. We did get the G-Zone as well, so everything pretty much looks the same. We got Harmonix, uh, we got Raging Wrap, four of. Uh, that was kind of obvious there because you want to keep using it over and over. We got the GB-8, which is a really decent finisher. Uh, it does come with the uh, one premium collection Shadow Paladin card. Uh, and it also comes with Chain Ranker, which is like Crystal Luster, so you can copy your heart skill. So that's actually really good for people that want to play Phantom Blaster Abyss in the main deck, which is really decent as a finisher as well to kind of put triggers back in your deck, you know, ride, stride, activate the Legion ability on your Chain Ranker, and then be able to do two Vanguard swings that way as well. And your opponent has to guard with three at a time for that swing. Uh, then we got two copies of the Drag Ruler Phantom uh, G unit. That's just, honestly, I think it's just to have a G unit with Revenger in its name to flip face up. That seems like the only point of it. So that's literally what it's there for is just flip fodder. We got the one Morfessa because you can't go wrong. Morfessa is a pretty good G unit. Just being able to force your opponent to have to guard with two at a time. That's a good alt finisher. So the G zone's looking pretty decent uh, so far. 
And we also got Ludwig, which is like your standard, you know, get 5k. Uh, we got the one G Guardian, uh, where you can call a bunch of cards from the deck to the Guardian Circle. Um, we got one that counts as a PG. Uh, we got the one that flips a G Guardian face up. And we got that one Cray Elemental one where you discard and based on the number of cards in your opponent's hand, it gets shield. So that's also there, but honestly, you're probably going to drop it for something better, like maybe Dismal. Who knows? Or it could be just another copy of one of these really good G units, which you're probably going to end up doing. So the G zones, okay, like the G units themselves, pretty good uh, lineup. The G guardians, you're, you're probably going to mess around with it a little bit. So that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing really to go off there. Overall thoughts on all three of these stride deck sets. Like I thought, Raging Form was pretty much going to be the best one. There seems to be some really good combos you can do. Uh, especially if you high roll and go first and just get all your field and just punish your opponent while they're at grade two. I think it's still going to be kind of fair because all the Revenger support is very high rolling. You got to draw into it, search it, you know, kind of get the ideal field going here. Um, it seems like a really good deck. It seems really fun and consistent. Obviously the trigger lineup is going to be the eight crit uh, draws and, you know, heal guardian. So nothing's crazy about that, but it's interesting because you might want to run Revenger triggers. So you might not stick with the skill triggers. Maybe you'll keep the one where you can stride just in case, but uh, you're probably not going to run the one that moves the soul and you probably are going to keep uh, Grim Revenger, the V series one, just for the Revenger name. But you know, it depends on what you want to go with, but that might be the route you're going with. The other thing you might want to do is run the uh, heal trigger grade zero that got uh, ratted, where now it's a 15 shield, 10k trigger because it has Revenger in its name. So that might be something you also want to do. Since you want to have Revenger rear guards for the retire, the more Revenger cards you can have, the better. So that was it for my little spiel. Uh, nothing crazy there. I'm looking forward to seeing what the full decks lists look like for all these decks. They're supposed to be full Revenger, full Musketeer, full Jewel Knight, all for the normal units. So we'll have to see what Bushy Road gives us. Hopefully they're not just all V units. Please, Bushy, don't make them all V units. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you guys coming out, watching these little, little spiels. Uh, be sure to check out 50 cards for all their bundles singles, all their Vanguard product and Shadowverse supplies that you can find there. And be sure to use code Nexus to get 5% off of checkout as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.